Hi folks, uh, just want to let you know we are now uh, one of the main uh, supplier, so our suppliers of PetSafe. So we used to sell PetSafe and we used to sell a lot of it. We sold that much of it that uh, they were very happy with what we were doing. So we now become one of the main uh, suppliers in Ireland for PetSafe. I'm just going to run through a few things which are really, really quick. Uh, we're setting up the system, regards setting them up. Small dogs, big dogs, whatever the dog is, it doesn't really matter. Some people, when, they're, when they bring it home and set it up, and they could ring us and say it's not working, it's not working. 99.9% of the time, it is working. There's nothing wrong with the system at all. It just means it has been set up wrong. This is one of the transmitter boxes. It's fairly simple. If you just copy uh, what it says on the, uh, the steps, okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, straight forward on it. You'd have no problem setting it up. Okay, this is one of the collars uh, for a small to medium dog. Uh, one of the main things that people have the problem with is this says they got a collar, it doesn't seem to be working. Folks, you just have to take out the battery. The whole component of the front of it is the battery. Okay, so once you put that back onto the system, just pressure in tight. Also comes, that's the way the battery comes. It comes in packs of two, so you can buy the batteries for them. So Click the battery into place. Sorry now. Me making it look hard. That's it. And all we do is get a screwdriver or a little knife, just twist it to the side, and that's the collar on. Now to make sure the collar is working, this is what we call the correction of levels of uh, shock the dog is going to get. Now look, he's not going to get a big shock. You think, oh, it's dangerous for the dog running. It's not dangerous on bed. It's just like an electric fence for cattle or a horse. He gets a little shock to the neck. He gets about one or two of them nearly in his lifetime. Because what happens is he gets a warning first, it vibrates, and then he gets the shock. So there's a little button on the top of it. You see the little light flashing. Okay, uh, that's after flashing twice. So that's level two on the shock. You press it again. One, two, three that's level three that's all it is it's just something really simple like that and then you just put the cover back on it the cover some people lose them it's not a major thing it's just a little waterproof cover so make sure you take the battery out first put it in and set your level of shocks i'll set up one of these really really quick with you as well just to show you the transmitter the transmitter is uh works the same with them all. Now there might be one that's a little silver or a little grey one. It mightn't have all of this, uh, uh, we'll say one to five steps on it. It just has like plug it in more or less and nearly go. But this particular one, I'll just show you. And I'm going to copy what it says on, on the tin as I say. Connect the boundary to red terminals. Okay, the boundary. Boundary would be, a, we make it a small little area. The boundary what they're talking of is your area of garden. Where you're letting the dog run. So I'm going to do a small little area here. So regards this, I'm just connecting one into the other. It's just like a speaker or a radio. So that's the boundary area. That's where your dog is going to be. So that's step one. This is just on a small scale, as you know. Right, step two. Set the boundary which suits your land to the yard. There's a button here that says A, B, and C. B is the average house up to an acre or two acres. So I recommend leaving it on B. A and C is going beyond five... Uh, Five meters up to ten meters, these will work. So you don't really need to do it no of that. So if you keep it on B, you shouldn't go too wrong. Turn the boundary as your uh, control knob anti-clockwise, or clockwise, sorry, so fully clockwise. And uh, plug in your AC adapter. Plug in your AC adapter. Okay. Uh, two lights will come on. Right. Slowly turn it anti-clockwise. So the two light one of the lights goes out. So one of the lights goes out and it starts to beep. Now, when that happens, you slowly turn it clockwise till the loop light comes on. That's it. Now, it wasn't very difficult to set that up. It was fairly straightforward. Okay, I've done a few of them, so I know it's easy for me. But regardless of just doing this, if you have any problems on it, just ring us on the phone and we'll go through it. Now, with the collars on the dog and he goes up to it, you might hear this. The little beep there you can hear. Uh, you mightn't hear it too well on the phone, but this is what you call a little tester. We call it a little butterfly. If I put this across here and I bring it up, you can actually see a little light on it. It mightn't be too good on the camera, but then you know the shock has been given. Okay. 
uh, as I say to you folks, don't be worried about worrying about giving the dog a shock. If your dog is getting out and it's going into farmer's feeds or anything like that, you remember like the farmer has the right maybe to look after his property, look after his sheep. So what can happen to your dog might be very nice. So I, I do recommend them. Uh, some people too take off the, and don't give them a shock, just give them the warning and hear the beeping. But I recommend giving one or two shocks at the start and do what they want, turn it down nice and low. He goes up to it, it's a beeping, and he comes back. It's straightforward. Uh, recommend the age of the dog. Five to six months, I'd recommend, okay? I wouldn't like to stick it on him any younger than that. Five to six months, two, three, four, five years of age, no problem at all. Extra boundary wire, if you need it, okay? That's extra wire. Comes in 100 meter rolls, 200 meter rolls, 300 meter rolls, 500, and so on. Uh, these are full strand, full copper rolls, about two mil copper. Some people do put, cop, put rolls of wire on it, put different wire on it uh, that they could take from a speaker or something like that and say, oh, it'll be fine. It won't. It will lose its signal somewhere down that line. So you don't want to be using You use the proper pet safe wire, okay? Use the proper wire. There is a slightly bigger collar for a bigger dog, which takes a little 9 volt battery. The likes of the one that goes into the smoke alarm. That's for the bigger dog. It comes with, you can have the spare collars. And there's connectors. Connectors, they're waterproof connectors. Just for the wire, we say, if you want to join it together, doing it the proper way. Some people might want to do it the other way, but do it the proper way. If the system is not working, it's broke somewhere, and the wire is broke, what will happen somewhere down the line, if it disconnects it, you know it's not working. You'll hear the beep, and you only see one light on. So that means if you have broken, you've cut it with the lawnmower, you've cut it with the strimmers, uh, don't be so worried about it just means that the, the wire is disconnected somewhere and you just need to, uh, to use a connector to get it back together. Uh, that's really it, folks. There's not much more to these, okay? There is a wireless system that you don't have to put the wire on. It's, it's uh, as I say, you don't need the wire at all, but it only gives you 90 foot circumference area. So that's, we'd say, we, we sell a good few of these, but we sell an awful lot more with the wires. Now, with Pet Safe, they also do a dog training system and they do the bark collars. So they do a good range of stuff and the different sizes of collars. So as I say, for a, medi for a medium dog, for a big dog, large dog, German Shepherds or stuff, or for a little small dogs, small little miniature Jack Russells and things like that, to do, to cater for all types of dogs. But folks, that's really it in a nutshell. Uh, that's for us now becoming one of the main... Uh, suppliers in Ireland for pet safe. So if there's any problems at all, uh, give us a ring in the shop. I don't like someone buying something without explaining it to them. And we will explain to them in the, in the shop how it works. So at least when they buy it in the shop office, we can let them know. But these are all online now and you can buy them. So that's all I need to tell you about them. Uh, if you need anything else, as I say, give us a ring in the shop. Thank you.